so fast All tied up Like a captain I'm on to you We used to play the run on life Sending a rainbow who's playing it cool I was like this in ages And I have no more patience So won't you please channel it's good to see you guys as usual so um, as you can tell my voice is like completely gone I like lost my voice as soon it's always like when I leave the hospital the day I leave I lose my voice it's really weird I don't know why it happens literally have no clue if you guys have any ideas comment down below and let me know because I hate it like my voice is gone but um Anyways, I just wanted to make this. This is just a spur of the moment. Uh, this is just a spur of the moment video. Like I just thought of it. Like I just was like, I need to talk to them. I need to tell them what's going on. There's a lot going on right now, and I just want to be completely honest with you guys, and I want to open up to you guys because I'm really like. This might be a really emotional video, but, like, I'm really going through, like, a really hard time right now. Like, really hard. Um, so, when I was in the hospital, they started me on Prozac for depression. And I really thought it was going to help. Like, I was hoping and praying to God that it was going to help me. That it, I was going to, that my depression was going to, like, stop being so bad. And that I was going to get better. I really, really thought that. And I was really hoping that. And, um, then I started to get worse. And I noticed that I was starting to get worse. And starting to have really, really... really dark thoughts and it it scares me to death like it really scares me and I know I look a mess right now I'm so sorry like I went out last night with my friends we had a crazy time and I know you can see my dirty room in the back which I'm trying to clean but I have ADD so bad so I'm like all over the place. I'm super stressed out. I am a mess. Like I am the definition of a mess right now, guys. And <clears throat> I just, I don't know what to do. So anyways, I, I was on Prozac or whatever and I just felt myself getting worse and worse. And um, having like really dark, dark thoughts. And um... So when I got home, they told me I could have serotonin syndrome, serotonin syndrome, which is where you have too many medicines that are affecting your brain and your serotonin in your brain. So it's, it's affecting too much and you have too many medicines and they're interfering with each other and you can die from serotonin syndrome. It is very serious and I have it. But I stopped the medicine, so I'm okay now. I'm calling my doctors Monday, and I'm telling them about everything that happened. So, the other day, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. Or was it? It was yesterday, actually. It was yesterday morning. I woke up. I got out of bed. And I was going to pee. And I just fall like my legs this is my legs they just give out like I can't walk at all like it's like it was the weirdest feeling I could not walk so I get back up I try to get back up fall again I keep falling I cannot stand up I can't like I just cannot stand up and then so I'm trying to get to my mom's room to tell her I can't walk but I, I grabbed my water because I'm like super thirsty and I, like I needed something to drink. 
like I was really tired too and um, so I grabbed my glass of water it's a glass of water it's like a mug a coffee mug and it had water in it and I pick it up I can barely pick it up and I just drop it I get I can't pick it up I can't do anything so all my muscles gave out on me like I couldn't do anything and it terrified me like I was so scared I didn't know what to do so I'm laying on the floor trying to like walk to my mom's room I kept getting up and falling getting up and falling and then my mom just so happens to wake up at this time and she comes out of her room and she's like why are you in the floor and I'm like I can't walk like my legs literally cannot move like I can't walk at all and she's like what like she's like kind of like freaked out too so eventually I'm able to stand up and like then I'm like, that's really scary. That's never happened to me before. Like, that's really, really scary. <clears throat> and my voice sounds so annoying right now. And I'm so sorry, guys. But I'm just trying to tell you. I'm trying to fill you guys in on what's going on. Why I haven't been posting. Um, I was posting so much. And I was doing so good. And then I just... I, I, just, I feel bad. Like, I was doing so good. At posting my videos and stuff and now I'm just like a mess like I, I, it's like I feel, I feel like I can't do anything right so anyways I um so I realized like there's something wrong with me and my mom was like did you take something and I was like I did not take anything like I swear the only thing that I have took that's changed is the Prozac that's it that's the only thing that it could be Literally, that's the only thing that it could be. So, um, I, uh, go and lay in my mom's room and I sleep till 2. Then I wake up and I look up the symptoms of serotonin syndrome. And all of the symptoms, I have them. There were a few that I didn't have, but I pretty much had all of the symptoms. It said that you will have muscle retention or something and it, you can like your muscles will give out you can't walk you can't and that can become permanent um, it said that you can have really really bad like dark thoughts like depression like really really bad it said you could your pupils will be super dilated which mine were so dilated guys that literally you couldn't see the blue in my eyes you could only see the black that's it like my eyes were so dilated it looked like I went to the eye doctor and got them dilated and that's every night they do that um, that's another symptom of it um, another one is being tired um, like it's hard to wake up um, low blood pressure or high blood pressure um, there's so many symptoms but you can eventually die from it if you keep taking the medicines and yeah so it is a very serious thing and I definitely had it and so I stopped the Prozac and it won't like it doesn't get out of your body for a while like it doesn't get out of your system I think she's I think they told me they told me eight weeks and I just feel like I can't feel like this for eight weeks I can't like those commercials that are like um can cause uh, suicidal thoughts they're not a joke. It's not a joke at all. It's so hard to, like, I just got a car. And I'm, like, I'm so happy about it. And I'm trying to be so happy about it. But I'm, like, more, like, I'm, that medicine messed with my head really bad I've never had a medicine mess with my head more than that more than like any medicine isn't it 
has never messed with me like this and I feel like I'm going insane like I feel like I'm going crazy like and I'm not trying to be dramatic I'm really not I promise you guys I'm not trying to be dramatic like I just keep getting these really really dark thoughts and I don't know what to do when I when it happens <laughs> I'm sorry guys the only person and this is so bad that I feel like can actually make me feel better is Kevin and I have no way to talk to him like it, it's so hard like I keep like I'll think for a day oh I'm over it I don't, I don't care anymore but then Stuff like this happens, and I'm like, I want him to hold me like he used to, and make me feel better. He was the only person. I don't even know if I'll post this. This is too. This is just a depressing video. Like this is so depressing. Nobody wants to watch this. Like. But I just thought I would like share with you guys. Like I'm literally just sitting here just sharing. Like it's just a random video. Like I'm just literally just telling you guys my problems. And um, it's kind of like therapy for me. Like I feel like I'm, like I like to talk to you guys. Like it helps me. It's helping me to like talk to you guys and tell you what's going on. Like talking to the camera. It's a weird thing that like talking to you guys help me it's so weird but I'm thankful for you guys and all the people that make those like sweet comments like it makes my day like reading your guys's comments and like telling me to stay positive and everything it really makes my day and guys I, I try to keep a smile on my face no matter what I make jokes about everything I <clears throat> I just, I never like to be serious and just tell my feelings. I don't, I, I don't do that. Like, I don't like to. I just try to make everything a joke. But right now, I can't. Because it's not a joke. I feel horrible and scared. And I... <sighs> to be scared of yourself... Be scared of yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I just I just stopped for a second. Um, I just stopped for a second. It's really hard. Like this is really deep. Like <laughs> depression. the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. And I just, I don't know why. Why does it happen? I don't know. I wouldn't wish depression on anyone not even my worst enemy like I if you experience depression you know exactly how it is but I'm not doing good that's for sure I'm not doing good so um <clears throat> if I don't have a lot of videos up I'm sorry I'm trying I'm trying so hard guys 
I really am. I'm, like, I'm trying so hard. And, um, I'm really, um, I'm trying to think of ideas and stuff. Um, I actually came up with an idea in the car. Um, I know some people do this on YouTube, which I'm not asking you, like, for, like, so, there's, I'm, I'm thinking about making a GoFundMe page, um, because I'm broke, and, like, completely broke, and I need <clears throat> money to be able to do things for you guys, to do videos for you guys, so, I can go to places, I can do videos for you guys, like, cool places, and I could, like, um, do like cool challenges and stuff and all of that so that's why I'm thinking I'm really thinking about making a GoFundMe page and um, whenever I do I will link it down below and if you guys even want to donate just one dollar like literally like two cents I don't care it's whatever and nobody it has to like I'm not asking you guys for money at all if you want to do it you want you can do it if you don't want to don't feel pressured to at all seriously like I love you guys no matter what you guys are like I, I don't know I don't even know how to explain how much you guys have impacted my life and um, helped me through like a lot of dark times but right now this is probably the darkest time I've ever went through in my life. This is the hardest time I've ever went through in my life. Like at this point right now, I'm like this is the hardest thing I've ever went through. I just like just being honest and um I just um I'm a mess. But if you guys don't think I should do the GoFundMe, then you can comment down below and tell me, like, no, that's stupid, don't do that. Um, but if you guys think that's a good idea for me so I can make better videos and better content for you guys, then you can comment and tell me. I also need to save up to buy a camera so I can have better quality for you guys, do more makeup tutorials, do reviews on things. Like, there's so many things that I could do if I had money <clears throat> but yeah just let me got let me know you guys what you guys want to do want me to do and also um, if you guys have any um, suggestions for what I should do um, for my depression any anything like anything guys and I know I sound really dark right now and I know I said like I'm literally like scared of myself I wouldn't do anything so don't think that I just it's just a hard thing like to feel that way like to keep getting these really really dark thoughts in your head and it's the devil like he really is like he's trying so hard to knock me down right now and I need God right, right now more than ever I need God right now. So if you guys um, pray, if you guys believe in God, please keep me in your prayers. And if you don't, that's okay. Um, I just really need some help. And I'm thinking about getting help. I don't know. I mean, I, al I already see... A counselor but they switch literally like so much and it's a different person like every time like and I get, I'll, I'll get like close to a therapist and then they'll leave so like it's hard like I need someone that's going to be there you know it's hard and I gotta find someone that's gonna be there and listen to me and stuff like that I just, I have a lot to figure out, guys, and I'm, if I'm not getting videos up, this is why. I just wanted to post this video to let you guys know why I'm not posting as much as I was. 
I don't want you th guys to think, oh, I just slack in, you know. No, that's not it. I am going through a really hard time. I don't count how many times I've said that in this video. But, yeah, I just want you guys to know I'm a mess. As you can tell, I am a mess. So, I love you guys, and I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. So, Monday I'm going to call my doctors, and I'm going to get something figured out for me. Um, because it's definitely not good the way that I'm feeling and stuff so I'm gonna get this figured out and I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna stay as positive as I can and when those dark thoughts come on I'm going to they're gonna go away you know like I'm going to get them away I got this like I know I can do this I have this if you guys believe in me and stuff like just comment below your like your most like positive comments it would really 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 cheer me up seriously like you guys are awesome I love you guys so much I just wanted to make this video like I said to just let you guys know that I'm a mess right now and there's a lot going on and um, I will try and get videos up as much as possible um, I'll do a car tour of my new car that I got um, as soon as possible that's the next video that I'm gonna do but right now I'm just trying to get through the day honestly that's what I'm doing so I will talk to you guys in the next video if you guys have any questions comment down below or please feel free to DM me on my Instagram I try to reply to everyone that DMs me um, if you have any suggestions or anything for what I'm going through right now. Um, so send me um, anything. Um, I literally, uh, adding this on, I was watching 13 Reasons Why and I had to stop. I had to stop it. Because it was talking about suicide and stuff and I just... That is a touchy subject for me. It's very, 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 very touchy. I, and like, I don't know, I literally just had to stop watching it. Because it was like messing with my head. But yeah, so. <clears throat> I love you guys. And, um. I will see you as soon as I can. Like I said, please feel free to DM me. My Instagram is always below in the description. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit the um, thumbs up button if you like this video. Which you probably won't because this video is a mess and I'm a mess. And I'm sorry. Um... So, yeah, I love you guys. I'll, I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.